Hey everyone, welcome back to the Biochemistry SI Program YouTube channel. Today, we are going to start with Exam 2 content, covering CPS1 and CPS2, which is a subtopic of ammonia assimilation. In Dr. Pirich's lectures about nitrogen metabolism, he goes over the urea cycle and the mobilization of amino acids. Before we talk about CPS1 and 2 and urea cycle, you might want to go and review amino acids. They become increasingly important throughout this exam as well. Please fill out this feedback form if you want to leave a video suggestion or feedback. The CPS1 gene provides instructions for making the enzyme carbamophosphate synthetase 1. This enzyme participates in the urea cycle, a series of reactions that occurs in liver cells. By the way, we made a video about the urea cycle over the summer, so you should go watch it. Anyways, CPS1 has a high affinity for NH3. However, in comparison to glutamine synthetase, it is considered low affinity. CPS1 represents an important regulatory enzyme of the urea cycle that mediates the ATP-driven reaction ligating ammonium, carbonate, and phosphate to form carbamylphosphate, hence the name. However, let's talk about the reaction. CPS1 transfers an ammonia molecule to a molecule of bicarb that has been phosphorylated by a molecule of ATP. The resulting carbamate is then phosphorylated with another molecule of ATP. The resulting molecule of carbamyl phosphate leaves the enzyme. That is the CPS1 reaction. Now, CPS2 is an enzyme that catalyzes reactions that produce carbamyl phosphate in the cytosol. It is a two-site mechanism. What does that mean? Well, it uses a transfer tunnel to shuttle NH3 through the body. The tunnel is too small for water or H3O plus to enter, so it can't participate in protonation. This avoids NH3 toxicity through the shuttle. It has a high affinity for glutamine as a substrate. The enzyme in the first subunit uses an SH group in its site to generate gamma glutamyl S enzyme intermediate. The transfer tunnel is needed to transport unprotonated ammonia from glutamine hydrolysis subunit to the biosynthetic site. This prevents protonation of ammonia, which is toxic for humans. It might be important to know this chart. The information within it gives a lot of information that you should know the difference between for CPS1 and CPS2. Overall, this is the reaction for CPS1 and CPS2. I hope you enjoyed the video. With that said, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!